Alright, so welcome back guys. Ang ating tatalakayin ngayong araw ay uh, the different problems involving the rules of differentiation. So, mag-differentiate uh, tayo ng given problem or given function uh, using the different rules of differentiation. So, halo-halo na ito. Apply na na. Minsan kasi apply natin lahat ng halos lahat ng rules sa isang problem lang. So, yan o. Oh, example number 1 na nga tayo. Let's say we have y equals um, 3x squared multiply by x cubed plus 1 raised to 7. So, kung mapapansin natin, we have two factors. Therefore, gagamit tayo ng product rule. Now, let us differentiate. Derivative of y is y prime. Equals product rule. Copy the first term, which is 3x squared. Then, multiply by the derivative of the second term. Or second function. Ano ba derivative nyan? Power rule. So, baba natin yung 7. Then, multiply by the function. x cubed plus 1. Kakopihin lang yan. Raise to, yung ating exponent, mababawasan ng isa, raise to 6. Then, multiply by the derivative of the function. Ito. So, after pala nung power rule, chain rule naman. Kasi meron pa tayong function dito eh. Kung x lang yan, walang problema eh. Kaya lang, x cubed plus 1 yan eh. So, multiply by the derivative of the function. So, that is 3, bababa natin yun. Kapihin yung x, mababawasan ng isa yung 3. So, 2. Derivative of 1 is mm, 0. Yan. So, hindi ko nilalagay yun. Plus, copy the second term. So, that is x cubed plus 1 raised to 7. Then, multiply by the derivative of the second term, of the first term. So, that is 2 multiply by 3, 6. X minus 1, yung 2, dahil 1 na lang. Then, simplify natin. Ito yung first term natin. So, 3x squared multiply by 3x squared, that is 9x raised to 4. Multiply by 7, that is 63. X raised to 4. Excuse me. Then, copy natin yan. So, we have x cubed plus 1 raised to 6. Plus, ito na yun. Ito yan eh. Ito naman. So, 6x multiply by x cubed plus 1 raised to 7. But that is not our final answer. Kasi kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong common factor dito. Ayun. Then meron tayong common factor dito. Yung dalawa na yan. So, mag-factor out tayo. Alam ko namang uh, kayang-kaya nyo i-factor out kasi magaling na magaling kayo mag-factor out eh. So, y prime is equal to ano ba common factors? Ano yung ipa-factor natin dyan? So, meron tayo ditong x. Meron tayong x doon. So, lalabas ko lang yung x. Maglalabas tayo. Tapos, ano pa? Eto pa, x cubed plus 1. So, x cubed plus 1. Ngayon, ano yung exponent ng dalawa nating lalabas? Kung ano yung pinakamababang exponent sa kanila? Dito sa dalawa na to, ano pinakamababa? 1. So, 1 lang yan. Dito sa dalawa, ang pinakamababa ay 6. So, yun yung exponent natin. Okay? Then, ngayon, i-divide natin itong first term dito sa ating common factor. So, ito, divide mo dyan. So, matatanggal na to. Cancel na yan. Matitira na lang ay 63 x cubed. Plus, ito, i-divide mo doon. So, ang matitira na lang, matatanggal na x na yun eh. Matitira 6, tsaka yung isa na to. 
Kasi 7 yun, 6 to, may matitira pang isa. Yun, pala. Then, simplify natin ito. So, copyin ko lang ito. Raise to 6. Now, 63x cube plus 6x cube, that is 69. Alright, 69. x cube. Then, 6 multiply by 1 plus 6. And, is that our final answer? Yes, that is our final answer. Alright. That is example number 1. Medyo 1 pa lang uh, mahilab-hilab na ya. So, example 2 na nga tayo no. So, example number 2 na nga tayo no. Example number 2, let's say we have y equals x squared minus 1 over x. So, since we have fraction here, una sa lahat, bago tayo mag-apply ng uh, rules of differentiation, alamin muna natin kung meron ba tayong mas, kung masisimplify ba muna yung ating uh, equation. Since ito equation natin, wala naman tayong masisimplify dyan, lowest term na yan, apply na natin yung rules. So, derivative of y is y prime equals quotient rule. So, ano ba quotient rule? Copy the denominator then multiply by the derivative of the numerator which is 2x baba natin yung 2 doon x abuwasan lang isa yung kanyang exponent so 1 na lang yun then derivative of constant is 0 okay minus copy the numerator then multiply by the derivative of the denominator all over the square of the denominator. Then, simplify natin. This is 2x squared. Distribute natin yung negative sign. So, negative x squared plus 1 all over x squared. Okay? Equals combine like terms. So, negative uh, 2 minus 1 that is x squared plus 1 all over x squared. And that is our final answer. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so example number 3 na tayo. So, kung napapasin ninyo, nagagamit natin yung iba't ibang rules. Nakagamit na tayo ng Prada, quotient, chain rule, constant rules, etc. So, halos lahat naman ay apply natin. So, example number 3, let's say y equals 6 all over 3x squared minus pi raised to 4. So, again, that is quotient kasi we have fraction. So, derivative of y is y prime. Now, copy the first, uh, the copy first the denominator 3x squared minus pi raised to 4 multiply by the derivative of the exponent which is 0 uh, exponent numerator which is 0 and then minus copy the numerator then multiply by the derivative of the denominator so ano ba yung derivative nyan? Power rule ulit yan. Kasi may exponent tayo dun. So, baba ko yung 4. Then, kukopihin ko tong function. Minus pi. Then, yung exponent niya, mababawasan ng isa. Tapos, derivative pa nung function. So, ano ba ang derivative niyan? That is 2 multiplied by 3, 6x. Eh, pi ito. But pi is a constant. Therefore, the derivative of pi is 0. Constant lang naman kasi yan eh. So, that is our numerator. All over the square of the denominator. So, 3x squared minus pi 
raised to 8. Kasi square pa natin dyan. So, yun na nga, no? simplify na natin. So, 0 na to. Ito na lang. So, negative 6 multiply by 6x multiply by 4. So, 6 times 4 6 times 4 times 6 is 144. Negative. So, negative 144 x multiply by 3x squared minus pi raised to 3 all over 3x squared minus pi raised to 8. Now, meron silang uh, common function o common terms dun sa numerator and denominator. So, ngayon, ito ay matatanggal na mababawasan to ng tatlo. Yun yun, binawas natin tatlo dun. Therefore, our final answer will be negative 144x all over kopihin natin yan kasi ito 5 na lang ito 3x squared minus pi raised to 5 and that is our final answer alright so example number 4 tayo dali lang ano wow Alam nyo lang yun. Number 4. Sample number 4. Kaya tayo nagbibigay ng ganito ay para kadagdagang kaalaman kung medyo nahihirapan tayo sa derivatives. So, example number 4. Let's see why equals x raised to 6 plus 1 raised to 5 Multiply by 4x plus 7 is to 3. So, that is our function. So, obviously, power rule. Power rule. Kaya lang product. So, apply tayo ng chain rule, ng product rule, power rule. So, y prime derivative equals. Apply muna natin yung ating... Uh, Product rule. So, copy the first term. X raised to 6 plus 1 is to 5. Multiply by the derivative of the second term. So, ano ba derivative nyan? Baba natin yung 3. Then, copyin natin yung function. Babawasan ng isa yung exponent. Then, multiply by the derivative of the function. Ano ba derivative nyan? 4, derivative of x is 1, derivative nito ay 0, so yan na lang yan. Plus, copy the second term. So, copyin ko dahil second term. Ito na naman. Magagamit na naman yung ating uh, galing sa pagsisiksik, ay sa pagkakasya. Uh, so, magkasya kaya ito nga. Derivative daw nung first term. Multiply by the derivative of the first term. Ano ba derivative nyan? 5 x raised to 6 plus 1 Babawasan na isa exponent nya 4 Yun. Then multiply by the derivative of the function. 6 x Babawasan ng isa 5. Naku Di pa nagkasya Ayan. Medyo kasya naman. So, simplify na natin. Okay. Pag samasamayin natin ngayon yan, 3 multiply by 4, that is 12. Then, ito, x raised to 6 plus 1 is to 5. Tsaka ito, 4x plus 7 squared plus Ito naman. Simplify natin. So, 5 multiply by 6, that is 30. X raised to 5. Then, kopihin natin ito. Ito na una. Ito na una kanina. X raised to 6 plus 1 is to 4. Tsaka ito. 4X plus 7 is to 3. Then, ngayon, ito na naman. Mag-factor mag out na naman tayo. 
Ito yung gustong gusto nyo eh, magpa-factor out. So, may common factors ba? Meron. Dito, sa 12 and 30. Divisible bo both numbers by 3. Eh, or 6. 6, 6. That, that's it, the, the greatest common factor. Divisible by 6. Okay, 6. Tapos, parehas naman silang meron. Parehas silang nito. Parehas meron nun. So, kukupin ko parehas yun. x raised to 6 plus 1. Tsaka 4x plus 7. Ano exponent nito? Yung pinakamababa sa kanilang dalawa. So, 4. Tapos, dito naman, 2. Alright. Tapos, yung may iiwan ngayon. So, eto, divide mo dito. So, 12 divided by 6, that is 2. Tapos, uh, eto, mawawala na. Kasi magamukha naman sila exponent. Ang matitira na lang, eto. Kasi, 5 to, eto, 4. So, may matitira isa. That is, x raised to 6 plus 1. Tapos, dito sa kabila, plus, eto, divide natin doon. So, 30x raised to 5 divided by 6 that is 5. x raised to 5. Tapos, um, ito, mawawala na. Kasi magamukha sila exponent. Ang matitira, ito. May isang matitira. Kasi 3 ito, ito 2. 4x plus 7. Then, simplify ulit natin to. Ito, simplify pa natin to. So, copyin ko na lang ito. x raised to 6 plus 1 raised to 4. Multiply by 4x plus 7 squared. Simplify natin ito. So, 2 multiply by x raised to 6, that is 2x raised to 6. 2 multiply by 1, that is 2. Plus, 5x raised to 5 multiply by 4x, that is 20 x raised to 6 5x multiply by 7 5x raised to 5 I mean multiply by 7 that is 35 x raised to 5 then combine like terms okay, ko to. plus 1 multiply by 4x plus 7 squared then simplify natin ito so 2x raised to 6 plus 20x raised to 6, that is 22x raised to 6, plus 35x raised to 5, plus 2. And that is our final answer. Yun, maraming salamat sa panonood mga kaibigan. Uh, wag niyong kalimutang ilike ang ating channel. Toot! At gayon din, syempre mag-subscribe na rin kayo. Toot! At huwag nyo rin kalimutan na pindutin yung ating bell upang makareceive ng mga notification sa mga susunod nating videos. Toot! Maraming salamat! So, ayun nga mga kaibigan. Ano? Uh, ngayon, uh, kung kayo ay meron pang mga karagdagang katanungan or meron kayong gustong uh, malaman pa na medyo naguguluhan kayo sa loob ng uh, klase o saan pa man uh, maaari kayong mag send or mag message ng mga katanungan ninyo sa mga accounts na ito sa aking gmail account is engineerulysis at gmail.com at sa aking facebook account naman, ito yung aking official account is yuli cruz cruz so mag message lamang kayo dyan ng inyong katanungan at susubukan natin yan ay sagutin upang tayo ay makatulong hindi lamang sa inyo at pati na rin sa iba yun lamang maraming salamat at pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon maraming salamat